Boom. It is going down. Yes, you are seeing it exactly what it is. We are about to get into some questions and answers, Q&A, some boxing. As you saw right there, I gave illustrations on exactly what was happening inside of that spar. Why did I have to do that? Because it's a lot when it comes to this sport of boxing that you got to know. I told you we have an entirely different dictionary. Our vocabulary is from here to Jupiter. And when it comes down to our class and IQ, that prowess, it's to the moon and back 10 times. Welcome to this Q&A about boxing. And the topic of discussion will be focused on sparring. So we'd like to spend a, send a special shout out to you for tuning in. Welcome. Right now, we're about to get into some serious boxing, but I always have to take the time to thank you for taking the time to tune in. And for those who never watched our show, i like to introduce myself. My name is Eric A. Bradley. Boy, you are late to the dance. And this is Boxing Q&A. We like to make sure that we are listening to our audience and they have an opportunity to have a voice. And that's what we got 200,000 people here to give you. So we're going to show you a little bit of what goes into the technique and the, the understanding of the vocabulary that comes with sparring. So I'm going to play it and I'm going to be side by side, but I'd like for you to check in. Let me know where you're watching from. That's what I want to know. I see my people popping in. Paul from Australia. It's the early morning there and he's on live. So do not fret. Drop where you represent your city, represent your brand. Paul's representing the school of boxing, Aussie. That's my man. It's good to see you, brother. Always welcome to the Q&A, mate. My man. The Gad, oh, Gadfly Gang. Yeah. Godfly game, Godfly game. I got to get it right somehow. It's all these different langos, but welcome to the show, man. Literally the middle of training. So you went live and so wanted to say, what's up? Looking forward to catching this later. You are so welcome, man. And thank you for taking the time to keep it locked. And uh, anytime, it's a really good show. It's going to get some very, it's, we're going to get very in depth with some sparring and some techniques and we're going to get into more of the theory and the principles behind it. So when you coaches are really starting to apply it, it's so advantageous for you to be live and on the set. But you know what? Well, catching a replay is just as good. So tag a friend who can watch it for you and we'll chat soon. Special shouts out to you. Next, my guy. Let me see what's going on. Thanks again. Hey, man, what's going on, Bobby? Bobby, your day, my guy. School of Boxing, Sheffield, Alabama. Pop, pop. I don't know, want to know what that means out in Alabama. I just, I'm just i just kidding, man. It's good to see you, brother. Spend, send special shouts out to the family. Everybody here is going to get a very, very healthy appetite when it comes down to knowing what goes down in sparring. And you want to be around today to catch some of these things that we're going to go over line by line and it brings clarity for you new trainers and for you trainers who've been in the game and just cannot catapult and get to that next level uh, everything's good alan harris in the house man it's all beautiful you can't complain man welcome to the show and we're about to kick it live i'm sick with covid hey man just keep on feeding your body just keep feeding your body get healthy pay attention to the mucus Go to the doctor, make sure that they're checking you on, checking you in, because the biggest thing is that you are paying attention to the mucus in the in the uh, liquid fluid fill up in your lungs. Don't let that happen. There are five or six, I think, just um, medicines that they got for COVID. If you have it, just make sure you get it and attack it early. All right. 
get to the medical professionals. They will take care of it. You'll be good. It's the only people that are having a lot of trouble is the people that wait too late. So make sure you get medical attention. Let's get it on with the show, man. Here we're going to go. I'm going to go line by line and let you um, and let you see. I'm going to go line by line and let you all see what this sparring se se segment look like. So the first thing you're going to see is some of the postures. One of the questions asked by one of our guys was, let me see. And this is why we entered it. It was just so important. So coach, let me see. Shout out to coach Edwin Santana, Mars Park Boxing. Guys are always looking for structure. So we got you covered. Looking forward to, to uh, filling your, main, your mind with the boxing knowledge. Coach Jeff Stanley wanted to know some of these things that we just showed you. We're going to play it again. And I want you to just read the screen, the captions on the screen. And what it's going to do is really enlighten you what it is that you exactly that you're seeing. And, and I'll also come back in and weigh in now on this service. I can't be on the screen at the same time without being in the way. So I'm going to pop out of the screen. So just bear with us for about uh, two minutes, two minutes, and then just watch and see how this plays out. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Make sure you leave your questions when you're watching it. If you have a question about any of the skills or the names of the skills that you're seeing, and I'll elaborate when we get right back. All right, let's see. Coach Jeff Stanley wanted to know how to fix dropping hands in sparring. And I'm going to answer that question as soon as we get back. Let's see some boxing. I'm out of the scene. Mm -hmm. other things use other things this we rotate work mm -hmm. character this is where character shows mm -hmm. turn break this work do some solid work 30 seconds 30 seconds You feel me? Because that was it was just too good. Boom. See what you saw there, the many layers. And let me just make it clear. It's kind of obvious that this was not the first round. We're talking about round number eight, round number nine. These guys were digging down. We call this 
fortitude. This is where you have to have a different layering of character. You have to have this. You cannot fake it at that level of sparring. You're talking about heavy hitters. Those punches were coming with thunderous intent. That was not pity pat sparring. And we're talking about in the later rounds. What my friend asked, Jeff Stanley, coach, I'm telling you, answering this question will answer a lot of questions. And then I see Ryan has also has a question about the peekaboo and I mean, Moises about the peekaboo. And I'll break all of that down and give you insight to the peekaboo has nothing to do with size, dude. And uh, but this is a great question and I will pick it down. But one of the one thing that we like to enlighten here is we're not a boxing gym. First and foremost, we are an institute of higher learning. What you see when you're watching social media, whether it's all, or YouTube, whether it's on a website, is you're watching the finished product. And but before you get to that finished product, you can't wear the name doctor unless you put in 12 years in school, specifically just to be a doctor, not 12 years of grade school. No, we're talking about 12 to 16 years you're working to have that title doctor. And that's the same thing when it comes down to boxing. You have to have that stamp of education. You have to understand the vocabulary. You have to know the dictionary of boxing and you have to not try, you, you can't avoid it. Let me just say that. It's not something you can avoid and be successful in boxing. That's why anybody that is successful in boxing has someone with generational wealth in the game. You cannot avoid it. When Coach Stanley asks me, why is it that he has a fighter that when he's training, he can keep his hands up, but when he's sparring, he can't. It's because he has not graduated to that position yet. He's still in grade school. That means when he drinks out of his bottle, he still drools because he hasn't figured out how to drink, swallow it down and have control. The muscles have not developed yet. And that's the exact same way an analogy that you have to apply when it comes down to boxing. You might be doing these things with the guys, but if it's not redundant enough, or if he's not motor skill advanced yet, and then he'll drool his milk. Even though he's still getting some in his stomach, he can't drink it all. And those are muscles that are not developed yet. And then sooner or later, he'll be able to get on his bike and ride it without training wheels because the muscle will be developed and the triggers that go from boom, those signals that go from the mind to the feet will actually know how to cooperate with one another. So I hope this is making clear, clear, clear sense to you because this is what we're dealing with. Coaches want to do it. Then they have an opportunity to work inside of a gym and then they just start training, but they don't go to school. I mean, would you allow someone to work on you? to work on your appendix or your stomach or your heart, if they've only watched YouTube doctor shows, would you really? And that's the thing, man. That's why there are so many situations where fighters get hurt and damaged really bad. So that's what you have to do. You see all of those different postures. These guys are developed. One guy came to me and to get fixed. That's what they did. They come to me to get fixed. I work with the top coaches in the world right now, whether it's virtually, uh, whatever service I can do, whether it's just advice, we FaceTime, whatever I have to do, that's my position in the game right now. And when you have these guys who have been, not been educated, that's why we have the School of Boxing. The School of Boxing is a place where you get higher educated higher and that carries on and the next question so just note that no matter what your guy does we'll go back to the question i'll put it up on the screen so you you guys can really see it and take it in because it's not something um a, a fighter's going to drop his hands 
Roy Jones Jr. drops the sand, dropped his hands. Mike Tyson dropped his hands. Holyfield dropped his hands. Pacquiao dropped his hands. You drop your hands. It's what happens. You just got to know when not to drop your hands. But the thing about it is muscle memory, it's repetition, and it's understanding how to be redundant and have the necessary drills. And that's why we have the art of sparring on special specifically for this show so that those who are looking for the ability to put together their training program and their sparring techniques can actually get it. So I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. I'm not too great of a salesperson, but I tell you what, I know when it comes down to this, sorry, I'm going to put this one up. This is a sparring training system. When you get into the art of sparring, what you're learning to do is learning how to develop the skills and then the drills to get all of those skills. And man, it's a lot of the skills that are required to become a master in that ring when it comes to sparring. You're not just going to see videos and then learn how to spar. In the training system of sparring, what it teaches you is how to develop the muscle memory over a course of time and how many different movements do you need, how to let your hands go, flow, all of these different techniques, the, the footwork movements that go along with it, the pre-warm-up requisite drills that is required before you even go there. And many, many lessons in between is broken down to a system. I'm in love with my art of sparring um, download because it's very, with, wisdom is in a bucket. I mean, it's just so much wealth in it. And it's normally like 200 bucks, but it's in a bundle today with, I think, the footwork. You know, it's a, the, 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 the heavy bag for power, which is a lot of different techniques that Manny used, Floyd used, Canelo used. It's a lot of different variations of different styles. And uh, it's a beautiful rendition. Even Chavez, uh, we made that so it keeps you engaged. And I think you get like the the running science. So check that out. That bundle is super, super on deal sale today. So we did it because we wanted to, because I'm tired of coaches not having the recipe and the remedy. Now, my man, I'm going to get to my question here. He asked about the peekaboo. And I'm telling you, you cannot. Okay. This is my guy, Moises Souls. Saul, Solace. I think that's an eye. Anyway, thank you for joining the show. My question here, thoughts on the peekaboo style, pros and cons. Uh, I try to utilize it in 5'9", 200 pounds. It doesn't matter if you're using a peekaboo. You saw in the video that I just showed, the taller guy was in the peekaboo style. He went from low guard to pot shotting to cutie style, boom, and then throwing feints. All of those things you learn in our training videos, the real one, the lessons, not the not the clips. So you learn how to develop that, that, that faint ability and throw, boom, them liver shots. And, and all of that takes a lot of work, right? Andre Ward used the peekaboo. He was six foot and a half. So he, he listed himself as six one. And Andre Ward would use her, wow. And his dog, he used it different than Tyson. Tyson was all athleticism. Boom, explosive left to right. Uh, he basically one-upped what Floyd Patterson did. And that's what you're supposed to do when you are in the same style. And then it's 40 years later. And the guy that taught you is training. Train the, you're the new guy that they got. You got to supersede the other guy. So when you saw Tyson doing it, you saw him upping what you saw Floyd Patterson do. And Mickey Rooney, I mean, Kevin Rooney, who didn't, he did it, but he wasn't as good a fighter because Tyson just had all of the quick twitchies that it requires to use that form of peekaboo. But let me take it back to the origin. And if you want to see a great video, register for the peekaboo origin. Um, it's going to be a great workshop speaking to the peekaboo style and the origin of it but we've done a video. So if you type in peekaboo origin, it'll probably pop up on our timeline. All right. But Archie Moore started it with the turtle shell. 
It became from a shell. Boom. Peeping through the guard. You got to have, like I said, strong, strong and massive forearms to pull this off. That's why the man had 141 knockouts, most knockouts of any fighter in the world in history, period, point blank. It will never be another on that level. Back to the topic at hand. And that went from there into the shell and many different styles. You get it? So it's all about what you want to layer your techniques with do you feel comfortable here? I have fighters who are, who are, who are pop out that turtle shell. It was very effective for George Foreman. It was very effective. And even Joe Frazier took little nibbits of that and nibbits of what he did and what they taught him up there in Philadelphia where my people's from and put that style together that he used. And it wasn't the peekaboo, but it was a formula and it was a derivative of that technique and those styles but there are a lot of algorithms in joe frazier's style and if you go back and watch him it's not just some dude walking in like this this guy had a total savage package you don't end a professional career in the 70s of boxing with a record of 32 and 4. he only lost to two men twice that's it the same two dudes the other greatest fighters in history and he was a ton shorter and weighed less than both so he just was he was just bested by two of the greatest fighters ever he got one from ali so you know he was just one and two against ali but he was actually zero and two against george foreman and so when it comes down to the peekaboo style man you gotta it's just a posture it's just a posture it's not a, you can't just stand there and just peekaboo all day. You got to show a dude different looks. You got to learn how to parry catch, you know, bob, weave, get in the shell block because you got to be able to pull them back because the peekaboo style that you're talking about is just a going forward movement. But you got to learn how to get on the back feet and move and draw your guys in and create setups for knockouts and stuff. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that gives you clarity. If you really want to understand the peekaboo, outside of looking at some dudes in the gym that only have like a half of a percent of knowledge about it and that knowledge is questionable you really want to learn about it go right here onto the website and check it out and when you get your pennies together cop that joint because it is the real deal let me pull it up for you right there and it'll it'll be down in your in, in your in your thing man in the comment box just look for it. and if you want to learn about it the right way and learn all the drills and and from now to next september you'll be training new drills and new drills and new drills without having to ask another person on the planet about the peekaboo style and never having to turn youtube on the next time you turn youtube on you'll be doing the video to show people how to do it because you learn from someone who's purity science when it comes down to the peekaboo so i hope that answered your question thanks again it was a great one kurt thomas school of boxing in the building let me see punches got a, a little too i didn't see it uh in part still small voice spirit i don't know what you're saying champ uh you got to be clear Hey, Anthony from what's going on, Anthony? It's good to see you from Cleveland, Ohio. Special shouts out to you. Uh, what do you say, you coach in point? Should a boxer have right, have a right, how to want to box style wise? Would, would you say from coaching point, should a boxer have a right? I don't quite get what that means. Have a right how he want to box. Uh, no, you need to know how to do different things. You can do what you want to do, but that's just going to get you knocked out. Guy. So James asked, um, from a coaching standpoint, should a boxer have a right to box how he wants to style wise? You styles is about what you got, what's coming at you. If a bullet coming at you, your style is going to be this. Whoosh, all right. If you fighting somebody, you know, who's slinging, swinging a bat. You know, you got to learn how to get up under that bat. 
there are no styles really in boxing. It's about postures when you are professional. A posture is what's necessary in the situation. If a lot of straight punches are coming at you, it's good to learn how to slip. You know what I mean? It's learn to learn to slip, catch, dip side to side, and make sure you keep them what we call postured up, hands up here, and learning how to parry a lot of stuff, catch. If it's a little weak jab, find distance and counter. If it's hooks and body shots, you want to be able to, boom, get in the paint and even Philly shells. If you're throwing little joints like this, these little uppercuts and hooks and stuff, the Philly shell, boom. And that's just a posture. And then you get, you got to learn how to block all different kinds of ways. I don't care what you want to do. You know what I mean? Like if somebody's shooting bullets on you, I don't want to duck like this, but you're going to need to duck like that. If somebody's throwing hooks to your body, you cannot just stand right here because all of that is going to soon be just very vulnerable. The shell postures that arm, that elbow, all the way down to your hip bone. Then it covers this side to prevent you from getting shot with a liver shot. And then your chin is tucked. Your jawline is hidden well. And right here catches the left hook up top. That's what happens when hooks come. You don't have to live there. And get back to what you what do best. But when you get exhausted, you better understand that's why we teach all of those postures. And that's why we're telling you that when you're doing this, it's uber important. And my young man, here's that peekaboo stuff that I was telling you about. Go check that out. That's the freebie. You can get that one. And it's down in the comments. So where you wrote your comment, go right there, grab that, and see a couple of things that really will guide you on what it takes to develop the peekaboo. And it's a very cerebral atmosphere. It's not what you think. It's not that stuff you can highlights you look at when you're looking at Mike Tyson. Rah, rah, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it ain't none of that. Now that's the finished product, but you don't develop the peekaboo style. It's too much. The books are like this. The lessons are like this. When your head is done, it's like a big freaking Shoney big boy that that, that, that restaurant where you get the burger and the pancakes and all of that. And he got the big giant head. You can see him 10 miles away. That's how your head will feel like when you're finishing learning the peekaboo. And we got two complete full volumes plus the theory uh, video downloads of that. And that's what you learn after the fact. But so you can speak to boxing for real and you're not just blowing smoke because there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lessons in all of these videos. And especially uh, we have that special because Coach Henry or Stanley was having a situation and he wrote like a book to the website and was very, very troubled with the situation with his kid. And, and, and if you train, it's a very frustrating thing when your kid can't follow the, what you're saying. But like I said, his muscles haven't developed strong enough and his motor skills have not adapted to drinking milk. So he drools and he can't ride his bike because he doesn't have the eye hand coordination and the, 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 what we call that signal is not getting to the brain from the brain to the feet, the pedal. That's why he go backwards and forward when he pedal and falls down. And because those, those signals are not connecting and that's what's, you're going to experience in boxing. The difference is, is you don't know when they're not ready if you're not following a guideline. And so mm -hmm. go up there, get this today. If you're serious about teaching boxing, this is how you'll go about it. You'll teach your guys by a process. And that is a bundle of knowledge. You'll be watching this thing over and over and over. I got guys who've had this for four years, three years, and they still watch, and it's their favorite one to watch and use in training and in elite competitions because it's the grassroots of fighting inside of the boxing ring, and it truly develops you up. And it's nothing like it. It's like I said, it's my favorite one to watch based upon how all of the drills are broken down that really show your shine inside of the ring. So go check it out. 
I'm gonna answer a couple of more questions too, because that's what we can do. Let me see. Thoughts on Peekaboo style pros and cons, just to your same question. Sorry. Uh, what this guy say again? Um should have keep dropping your questions. I'm getting them up in here and as fast as I can. Thanks for getting those questions up. Let me see. What's up, Pedro? Let me see. Here in Brazil, Northwest, we fight boxing. Well, I don't know what our style, but we just fine with technique. And that's the guy when it really counts in the ring. You don't know why you lost. And this is, that's why all you, all the guys from you, your country, whether it's Nigeria, whether it's Canada, where it, whether it's um, the Ukraine, Hong Kong, all of the fighters are saying our trainers don't teach this. They just teach traditional boxing. They used to do that over in the UK too. And then they figured out we can never beat American style because American style boxing, we had more celebrated and decorated fighters in the history of boxing than any other country period point blank is not even close and that's not bragging it's just because american boxing styles offers up situational boxing when the trenches get really really tough now when you got cuba theirs work really good in the in the olympics because it's amateur and that's all you need to do is hit quick and get out you need footwork and a lot of combinations when it comes to flurries but when it comes down to American prize fighting, if you watch the Olympics, you saw a lot of people working in that shell because guys like me are teaching how to deal with all of your conventional style. Boxing isn't about fighting in a style. You can fight in a peekaboo or you can fight in the Philly shell and you will soon lose because you're only fighting in a style, meaning a style is a category, but boxing is not a category. Boxing is a system. Boxing is a science. That's just like saying, I only want to do chemistry in school. I don't want to go to math. I don't want to go to English. I don't want to go to science. I just want to do this one sector over here. So that's on you. You know, but you won't be able to beat all the styles or all the boxing methods when people bring in 10 boxing options to you and you're using one, one is good when you're teaching boxing, but then it gets to the next level where you have to take them into situational boxing when you are exhausted and your arms are heavy and you got to learn, or if the guy is naturally stronger than you and you have to learn how to roll with them and learn how to roll with the punches and have a little style with what you're doing. And you can be very, very clinical with your boxing, systematic. Roy Jones, I mean, um, Andre Ward's very systematic. He's very conventional, but he used a lot of techniques with the peekaboo with his legs that people weren't picking up on because he didn't do it like Mike Tyson. So um, I understand what most of you guys are thinking because for one, you don't have coaches that can teach it because they haven't learned it. So that's usually they're out because, and I appreciate that because if you try to teach something you don't know, trust me, you're going to get somebody hurt. But the coaches that are over there that you're talking about, they're reaching out to me. You can look on my page and you can see the tens of thousands of people that are reaching out on a consistent basis, leaving comments, like, and following Man, we got Anthony Joshua following us on freaking Instagram. We don't, we know we're the creme de la creme of teaching the science, all right? So you got to not buy into the stick because them same coaches, they are trying to get me over to do clinics for them, for their entire countries. So take that with you, champ, and keep learning boxing. Boxing is not just one, one class. Boxing is a university. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Double down on it if it does. Uh, 
dude, you got to get off of this page with that crazy stuff. Thomas Himmelberg, speaking of Coach Thomas, we got to send a special shout out to our coach, Coach Thomas Himmelberg, for making it into quarter two in the school of boxing. Once again, another coach who will be well versed in teaching boxing, the entire science of boxing. That's why boxing is called the sweet science, because there are many variations of this intense, unique, systematic science. It's not just one road. It's an entire highway. And I want you all to understand that it takes a lot to do it. So it takes a lot to do what these guys are doing in the school of boxing. So congratulations, Coach Thomas Himmelberg. We were going to post this in the group first, but I felt like it was very advantageous to those who are learning that this is a thing that you just can't pick up overnight. These guys are working extremely hard. They're learning a lot more than they all knew. And they're learning a process in which to learn it. And they're learning the process in which to teach it. And they're going to be much better for it. And their legacies are going to really, really have a staple in it for this guy taught it a certain way. And I'm glad to have you a part of the school. And I love doing your grading, just watching your practical exercises. You were very clean. I love the way that you kept it very simple. And just like the young man from Brazil just said, classic boxing. But I know you know how to bring that smoke with the other stuff whenever it's necessary. But in the, like I said, you're working with younger people and it's just a beautiful thing to see that happen. And that's why we encourage those who are in the training field to take a minute and go up to that school of boxing and join the fraternity of learning how to do it the right way. The way that the guys, the trainers are catching on really fast that this school is definitely the creme de la creme of learning the science of boxing the right way. And you get all of the materials. You're not coming into something and you run out of material fast. Like this stuff is abundance. It's an abundance of knowledge and videos and clinics that we do virtually to stay connected just like this. And Think about what you want out of it and what you want out of it. That's what we're showing everybody how to get. So take a moment and go visit that school of boxing because it's not for me. It was a lot of blood, sweat and tears to establish it when it started out as Master Boxing Academy online. And then it graduated to becoming the school of boxing. And from that point, now it's just not a gym it's the institute of higher learning where you really learn the entire game and sport of boxing in a bite-sized chunk so you can take it all in and you can get on that bicycle and you can ride it down the street and no longer do you drool your milk when you drink it out of a bottle not even a glass anymore because you learn how to embrace the process and envelop that muscle memory and that's all we are doing, man. We're in a wealth of knowledge and we have a wealthy group of people that are taking it all in. So special shouts out to you, Coach Thomas Himmelberg out of Freeport, New York. Shouts out to Freeport Fitness. If you're out in Freeport, check out my man, Thomas Himmelberg. He's educated and continues to take the bar to the next level. Anybody that's in school still, is serious about life. So congrats, brother. Good stuff. Bam. And I want you all to take that liberty and really take advantage of what we got going on. Let me see if I got questions landing up. What's the best way to find? Let me see. Let me take this down real quick. <sighs> best local gym coach or would these videos uh, suffice without going to a gym? and just train at home. You can definitely train at home, all right? You got to go to the gym because you have to get, if you're going to box or train, you want to get in there and you want to bump with guys. So, but being able to watch and use the videos 
what that'll do is give you a head start on developing muscle memory so you take the videos and keep learning because if you start if you walk into the boxing gym this is the only disadvantage about going into the boxing gym because you got to learn while you're training but when you do it enough at home which you should apply you should walk around shadow boxing six to eight hours a day but don't do it without instructions because if you do what well, anything anything you try to do without instruction soon as you get a coach in front of you you're going to be doing something wrong i promise you that's 100 so you don't want to learn wrong and then you have to unlearn i hope that makes sense you got the greats of the boxing game like michael nunn who i'm friends with facebook he's he's he was immaculate in his boxing cachet very stiff clean beautiful boxer good defense just had the whole savage package when it comes down to being a pure boxer hands up here throw the jab tall long range beautiful boxer and that's what my man from brazil was talking about but sooner or later you gotta learn how to tuck that chin get up under here come back up pop do a little peekaboo stuff I mean, it just does take it, man. Every fighter uses all of that a little bit. All of the elite fighters. Pacquiao, Canelo, Charlo. You look at all those guys. They use postures. That's what boxing is. And, and Mike Tyson just used peekaboo posturing more. But he used other stuff. His basic foundation and basic boxing was great. And y'all was getting that confused because this is not peekaboo right here. That's called windshield wipers. And when they see that, y'all see that, y'all, like, that's the peekaboo. No, peekaboo is all about fast hands and peeping between the gloves. And Archie Morris was peeping between the forearms. It's all about the peep. It has nothing to do with the other stuff. So I hope I just gave you guys some insight. And those are the things that you learn when you order the downloads. But get the downloads to learn what you're about to get in, be in for. And there's a great chance that you'll know more than the guy who will be teaching teaching you because there's a bevy of knowledge. My suggestion, the school of boxing for the fighters, you just go in there into the skills training and you just get all of the skills and, and how to train. And you can do all of that stuff at home in the comforts of your own home with a nice mirror and video yourself and do it go to the gym have a trainer talk to you as well because in the school of boxing we don't request fighters coming to the school you sign up and you get the material and it teaches you all of those things and all you need is somebody steady giving you the right stuff constantly and you use our our, our facebook group to post stuff to get criticism and to get corrections we got great coaches in there like coach thomas himmelberg uh glenn hudson coach stephen willis coach eric colazar all of these guys who have who got their hat on now because they're educated and they're continuing their education so if you want to take that route that's a great route because you're going to need feedback so if you don't find a good local gym you google and you just kind of read what those gyms have to offer and what the reviews are and take a minute and go in there and and speak to them but the the, the thing about that is when you go you got to have your checklist of things that you want to that you need to know do the coaches have time or do the, are these coaches working with competitive fighters they're not going to put you ahead of competitive fighters do you have personal trainers that are groomed enough to work with you as a boxer and for that sometimes you can because a lot of the trainers are coming and learning our training system so they can work with people who want to learn to box and we are educating them the right way. We had over 25 Golden Glove coaches who were not ever in the sport of boxing prior to them learning our training methods because that's what we, it is capable of doing. When you have that process down and you're able to deliver it with confidence and you've already had the toughest criticisms you can get 
but in a very, very critiqueful and, 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 and mannerable way, because we want you to take it in the right way. So I hope that gives you insight that you can learn how to do the box and get used to it. And so when you go to the gym, you'll have the vocabulary right. You'll have the dictionary right. You'll understand that glossary much better. And you won't be so green to the game in the sport. Because when you go in there and you've never been in a boxing gym, man, it's China. And you got to learn Chinese. Trust me. Nothing's going to sound familiar to you. So down in the comment boxes are links to each of these. But the best thing to do is just get yourself up to the website and look at that beautiful rendition and offering that we have because you can get downloads you know isolate them or today this was in a bundle this sparring training system also learn teach you how to do your conditioning with the running how fighters actually run there's a video to talk to you and explain to you how to go about doing your sprints and your distance runs if you're trying to get in condition and then that heavy bag for power where you learn the different techniques on how to work the bag and you know our bag work stuff is second to none uh it's the one bag trainer drill that you'll get programmed and you'll never get bored with it because it'll challenge you because you're using different techniques every round so it's mad cool so check that bundle out it'll never be that price again <laughs> it'll be quadruple that because it actually is so take advantage of that uh sparring bundle it's pretty cool so everyone has um own posture it makes its own difference as mike tyson is unique no one can be like him no hell, no you'll never see another mike tyson um you'll never see that again because there's there's just like you'll never see another muhammad ali you'll see guys who take pages from them because these do were making the foundation of what they are that's why they say those are the gladiators those are those those guys are put in a in a treasure chest and that's box and now you got to pull from all of them the tony zales the rocky marcianos the gracianos the jack dempsey's all of these great legendary fighters gene tunney the people that you never heard about bo jack these were the monsters growing up in the 20s and 30s and 40s jack johnson each one of these people left the legacy of something behind that everybody tries to emulate. And when you go all the way back, when you to the beginning, the turn and the end of the 19th century, where the turn of the 20th century was about to happen, when you got John L. Sullivan, who was bare knuckle brawling fighting, and all they had on was gloves you wear out in the cold, if that, or tape. You know, and special shouts out to Scott Burr, who's the president of the Bare Knuckle Brawling out there and the Police Gazette. He's doing a great job with Bare Knuckle Brawling these days. He's the president of the legacy, that Hall of Fame that John L. Sullivan is a part of and started. And he was an absolute monster. And Jack Johnson came along. And all of these guys, man, these guys were mountains and they were paving the way on what fighting was going to be about. And this is what happened. Mike Tyson was one of the last of the dying breed because he took from those guys and he showed it all in one kind of savage package as far as the method that he delivered it. He wanted to have that maniacal, tenacious, ferocious fighting anger inside like Jack Dempsey. And if you go look at Jack Dempsey, he was an absolute monster inside of the ring, no matter if it was the first or the 14th or the 22nd round. Jack Dempsey was an absolute monster. And that's what my Mike Tyson wanted to emulate, but he never could. And he'll, he'll be the first to tell you that he failed. <laughs> Because he, he was seen quitting on his stool, and he realized that even the that bar, as long ago as that was, you can't supersede it. Sugar Ray Robinson, you, look, you see guys like Bernard Hopkins, and you see a little bit of all of these guys and all of these guys now. But those guys then, they were the complete package. And so that's why we designed the artist born kind of thing. So when you go up there, what you'll see is, 
that we do not sugarcoat stuff. We're not going to do it for you. And we didn't do it for us because while those videos were being done, we were training and competition. When the book was being written, we was in world championship training camps, fighting top level guys, the likes of Chris Birds and people like uh, had these monsters training in camp like Ray Mercer and, and Oliver McCall down here showing and teaching that peekaboo stuff that Custia model and Kevin Rooney showed those guys because he was the only one willing to be in the ring training with Mike Tyson at that time. We got a direct connect to the bloodline. No one has the more authentic green stamp and stamp of approval to teach things like that than we do. And the lineage is real. We, you're the fourth generation to us. We're passing the baton down. So um, take the learning, take those lessons, digest them, and process what you're actually learning. You're talking about over 100 and near 30 year lineage of boxing knowledge, man. You can't play around with that. It doesn't get any any deeper than that lineage. That's from the beginning of boxing since 1897 when boxing reels began. Video was at 37 reels a second. You can. <laughs> it was looking like that, and I got that on video because it's real doing, and we do it for real. How do you break down that might? Let me see. Let me take this down. Something, but still has a long way to go. How do you break a boxer down that might know a little something, but what do you mean? How do you break them down? You don't break a boxer down who knows a little something? That that doesn't make sense. Are you in a match? Are you training? Are you sparring? Um, elaborate on that. The first thing you need to do is learn that you need to know where you are, right? You So if you don't have a grading checklist, then first and foremost, you're just another guy, all right? So you got to have a grading method, how to know where you are. Like if you didn't hand in your paper at school, your teacher couldn't tell you if you were stupid or smart because you ain't handing no paper. That's why you just get a zero or an F. Over in, in the U.S., that means you fail. You know, F stands for fail. Zero stands for you getting nothing, no points, no nothing. But if we know you had to put boxing in a school format for it to make sense to people and for them to gradually move down, that's why you just saw me put this guy on the screen because he's actually moved on to the next quarter because he's done the right things in the school of boxing. So take 45, 55 bucks, whatever it costs, Put that into your education, use that, apply that, and keep learning. And you can stop whenever you want to. It's on you. But nobody wants to stop learning boxing because the minute you stop learning, it does not keep feeding you knowledge. You have to go back and get back on that trough and start learning again. So uh, I just wanted to be clear that I was answering the right question because. If you break in fighting somebody down and you're not more educated than them, you can forget about ever having success in the ring. They'll beat you 10 out of 10 times. So you got to have a system. And we teach you how to win fights. We got chapters in the sparring, the art of sparring down low, what you're looking at right here, that teaches you how to win different ways you have drills that you got to learn how to take the fight away from another guy if they're taller if they got longer reach if they're stronger or if they're shorter or if they just have a stronger output and you have to set them up it's all of those things that you have no idea of because it's such an abundance of knowledge you have to learn how to process it in a simple manner. It'll be like being in the buffet when you order that download. It just teaches you so much. And so will it when you're in the school of boxing. Both of those will just change your life exponentially. And I wish these guys would really 
double down on it because it's so important. Uh, you go practice and to improve, learn what's wrong when you are a punch and get better after that. No, you'll get brain drunk. This guy, if you take this kind of information, <laughs> go get hit and then figure out what you're doing wrong. No, because the other guy's getting better too. So he's just going to hit you more and be more effective with his hitting until you are brain damaged. We don't teach fighters to get brain damaged to learn boxing. Boxing is a sweet science. The sweet science, the sentence that follows it is hit and not get hit. Unlike Pacquiao did. Special shouts out to Pacquiao, we were his chief sparring partner for five years. Back when he was smoking everybody from 2007 to 2011 and 12. So special shouts out to him. He'll recover. He'll probably get the rematch because he can get it because he's, he's Senator Pacquiao, soon to be President Pacquiao. But don't listen to these guys. You don't box to, to get brain damage by learning. Because if you come in the gym and you don't know how to box and you get in the ring with somebody like me or any of the fighters that I've ever worked with, they're going to eat you. You won't have a brain inside of the middle part of your head. Your brain will be sitting down in the back of your throat because we'll rock your head. All right. So you come in here with that science and see where you get in the school of boxing or at master boxing the school of higher learning. And all we do is take you to school. And if you come in there trying to figure out boxing, I always, I always tell them when they're signing the waiver, if you got any holes in your game, you better not get in this boxing ring. Because I can promise you this, is nobody out here going to save you when that bell ring. That's the moment of truth. And the truth will soon tell the truth about everybody. That ring will soon be the judge. So you come in here with that talk, all you want to do, learn by getting hit. No, you learn how not to get hit. And that takes a lot of drills. It tells me the people that he's worked with don't have the time to teach. They just want to get the job done and get back to the crib. But we take time to teach because you can get killed with the kind of athletes I train. Them dudes that you just saw on the screen, Dude was knocking cats out with headgear on, unconscious. I ain't even gonna get into the details because one day we were live streaming and it happened. I had to erase the video immediately. And his op opposition probably is watching this live stream right now and could double down on it, but I wouldn't even ask him to call himself out like that. Yeah, that's why we call him Mike Dynamite because that kid could knock you out with 16 ounce gloves on and, and headgear. And I'm talking unconscious, three bodies in one day, one sparring day. Don't come in here with that learn by getting hit in the head, dude. You, you must be out of your mind. So check out that sparring bundle. You're welcome, Thomas. It's good. Sending love from the UK. Callum, what's up, brother? Follow your channel for years and love it. I love that you are very, very open and I know you now. So special shouts out to you, Callum, Rowley. And I hope you have understand how important it is that globally now that we're all connected and we can educate all of you out here, whether you're in Aussie, whether you're in the Netherlands or New Zealand or, you know, Zimbabwe or the UK. We now all connected. I got more of the people and coaches and trainers. And matter of fact, the governments are reaching out for us to do clinics like this. My my man, my mentor did clinics over in, uh, in uh, Great Britain. They pulled them in after the Olympics in 2004. They used to, every time he turned around, he was going to the UK, he was going over here, going to this country because they saw that it was stuff that they didn't know. Their governments are reaching out. And uh, I'm talking about Vietnam has reached out. And I mean, just people want to learn more boxing. And this guy from Brazil is talking like, 
you know, one style. No, one style will get you messed up over here. All you got to do is come over here to Baltimore. Come over here to Baltimore or go over to Texas, Houston, and come down here to South Florida with that stuff. It ain't nothing but smoke down here. You can meet us at Fifth Street. You can meet us at Boca. You can meet us over in Palm Street, Palm Beach. It does not matter, man. You come out here with that one style stuff, you're going to understand. It's many more words in the dictionary than on the front page because that's what it's going to feel like to you. You better get educated, champ. Uh, it can take a hundred punches to learn it the right way and a thousand to unlearn the wrong way. Thank you, Thomas. Coach Thomas Himmelberg, Q2, the school of boxing. He said it, you know, it can take a hundred punches to learn it the right way and a thousand to unlearn the wrong way. Cause you're going to, you ain't going to be able to defend punches by the time you get in there with snipers. We teach snipers, man. What's going on Q Benji. It's good to see you, brother. Welcome to the Q and a, we love our people. We love our people. Kurt Thomas. What's good. How many boxing classes can you go to a week as a beginner? Want to go often? Yeah. If you got a good teacher, you got good trainers. You know, some people really concentrate on the science of boxing. So it's more of a long drawn out learning process. But if you go into a boxing fitness class like title boxing, which offers good, hard classes, it depends on if you want to be a brutal, sweated out kind of boxer or if you want to be a purist in the science of boxing, then it's a little tougher to find good training. But, you know back it up if you can't find good training register the school of boxing at least take a um, peep into it yousef we got a yousef in a school of boxing that's a much common name over there good stuff it was a great question but if you have good classes you can go to them but most of them are boxing fitness classes but if you're doing it competitively you got to find a good trainer that does have time and most trainers that are good are already kind of enrolled with working with other people so you got to be very very um progressive with trying to find them but find a training system in which we do and that's what we're doing we're educating the guys man so uh take the time saying 100 how it is loving yeah man loving the pr process here's another coach in the school of boxing paul my man coach out here in, in in Aussie and learning from American boxing, the science that is complete. And it took me over 30 years to acquire this knowledge. And it, three Olympic tenures of knowledge were passed down to me. That was over 100 years nearly. My 30 plus knocks it over into 120 plus years of boxing knowledge. All of each one of those tenures, 84 coach, 88 coach, 2004 coach. Now in the school of boxing, we had a coach training in the Olympics who was coaching in the Olympics. She special shouts out to Christine Lopez for being one of the females to represent the school of boxing over here in the Olympics. And uh, special shouts, man, we're doing a big, we're doing things big on an entirely different level. So Thank you, uh, Paul, for taking the time, man. But you got to learn that to learn boxing, you got to really dive in with both feet. You cannot take shorts. And the people who take shorts, what we call them is opponents, meaning we just warm your head up just to get ready for real boxes. All right. Because, yeah, you get in there with somebody who's been in the school of boxing or, or the master boxing training lineage, you're going to get you're going to get messed up talking that crazy stuff and really not understanding what it is about it what it takes to actually do this for real it takes a lot man so don't underestimate it i'm also from the uk first time on your live i'm glad to see that you're here brother my man ray day ray die ray die one good to see you welcome to the um q a we like to keep it live with you brother that's right Here's my future custodial model in the school of boxing, Kurt Thomas. I'll be calling you Coach Kurt Thomas soon. And I'll be also telling you to make sure you hashtag that TSOB, the school of boxing, every time you leave a comment. 
because people are watching, champ. People are watching. Lots of boxing trainers, not enough good boxing teachers. Yep. That was truly un that was a true statement, and that's what we're creating. And it takes time to build a the, the, the boxing prowess for a teacher. A teacher has to learn how to train, learn how to coach, learn how to divulge information so that people can understand it. And then they must understand the entire dictionary. And then you can be a teacher. And then you can soon from that point become the professor. And as I sit on this throne, I pass down the throne. I pass down the torch to all of these guys that you see TSOB by, their name, those are teachers in training. You feel me? But right now you can believe they're respectable coaches that have a guideline in order to operate and they are exceptional at curriculum and being able to take it into a gym and utilize it the right way and developing young athletes in a manner in which they'll be able to see the light of day because they're being taught the science of boxing and in which is no small undertaking. So take a chance and go out here, look at the beautiful sparring training. Art of sparring is what it's called. When you get out there, you'll see that you get a bevy, a nice little bundle and it'll 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 definitely educate you on a whole new level that this 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 boxing thing is much more in depth. I don't care if you're training. I don't care if you're training. You've been training 10 years. When you read and see this, you see what a deep lineage in boxing shows and gives you different than going into a gym and just letting a dude tell you some stuff. And then you trying to work with people. Trust me, man. It's a whole entirely different level when you're learning from a dictionary and the sweetest science of boxing you can never ever take lightly so that's all i got i'm gonna leave you with the last sector of this video you guys chime in what i say before go up to the website look at that artist foreign package that bundle the link is down in the comment box and at the same time if you're wanting to really learn how to box then make sure that you go about it the right way I got one last thing that I want to chop it up with you guys about. And the question was asked to me by this young man. And after that, I'm going to pop that last little video up for y'all to see and enjoy it and enjoy it. But this was a very, very serious question. Shout out. And I felt that if you don't know how to do this, then you're going to be in trouble. My man asked me. How to make, I'm going to get his name, so, because I don't, his name, how to make over $50,000. I did a, a live stream over on Instagram yesterday, and I was talking about money. Okay, a better me equals a better you. Ask, how do I do it? He said, I heard your live stream, and I heard that. If you're not making $50,000, something is wrong. And he asked me about how do I do that? I want to learn and, and, and do it. So we told him, this is how you go about it. So let me say his name again. A better me equals a better you on Instagram. You know, that's what you're going to get over there. But he ended up being a very smart man with a daughter and doing good things for himself, but wants to understand how to make real money in business. So I told him to come on to our feed and join us next week in our institute, our business institute. And this is what we do. We teach you how to make money in whatever it is you do. And we show you how to operate and build your social media first, how to galvanize the people, because in order to make money, you must attract people. And people are on this feed. There will be over a thousand people that have seen this before this show is over. When you see me, that means I'm attracting the people to come and see first thing and then how to delegate, how to build the people around you and how to, from that point, create 
the demand for what you have. And that's one of the step-by-step -step process that we teach in a four-part series. So if you're looking to try to do that, go up there and sign up four part. I think it's 199. Jump on. If you are in that place, cause I'm so tired of seeing these marketing people reach out and trying to hook up with us and they don't know our business because I told all of them, you don't know the sport of boxing. The people that are in the sport of boxing are different. So year after year after year after year, we had to figure out that we had to be the ones to step up and do it and show what we do in our business model. That's why we are successful. That's why you see that suitcase full of money and it's full of money. And that was not no freaking, you know, what you call it? Smoke and mirrors that I had to order money from the bank, my money and boom, boom, boom. So people would understand. You never see me pulling off the Floyd Mayweather joint. I never do that. But what we do want to do is to make sure that there's nobody out there that can't have the kind of successful lifestyle that they want. People are not greedy for money. People are greedy for freedom. They don't want to be bogged down. And that's exactly what we are delivering. So if you don't do anything else, check out that series and we go live every Tuesday to finish off what it is. And you're going to learn a lot about how to go about making the money with it, whatever field you're in operating. I got some guys that own gyms. I got guys who own their own individual companies that they use training as part of what they're called their revenue stream. But you got to learn how to create and diverse and build your revenue stream and how to get people attracted to you. And the process in which how you shoot your videos, all of those things are in that workshop. So come check us out, man. Join us. And we're looking forward to educating you outside of the sport of boxing so you can change your game and take it to the next level. Until next time, continued blessings. Happy Labor Day weekend. We will be having a Labor Day weekend sale. So for those of you who are first time buyers, go and check us out. You'll probably see a, a banner on the page. Get you some very solid boxing knowledge. For those of you who are doing it on another level and you're ready to take it to the next level, come join us in the School of Boxing. We got you covered. Until next time, we see you soon in the winner's circle like we always do. Peace. Mm -hmm. box you gotta use other things now use other things use other things this we rotate work mm -hmm. character this is where character shows mm -hmm. turn break this work Do some solid work 30 seconds, 
mother you can't see. You feel me? Because that was it was just too visible to what you were doing. That's very important. Especially when it's when You gotta go in there with your principles already here. Finish. Beep, 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 beep. Don't just sit there and sit and duck. Get the hand active. Nice jab to the belly. Remember what you did with that jab to the belly? You gotta be able to do that. You know, you know that's coming, so you're gonna block, 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 then you got the Everything is about the unexpected, not the expected. Mm -hmm. Nice hook off the jab. Distribute your power. Start reaching for the head every time. There's an entire five foot nine inch worth of body below it. Time. I'm Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I came just to thank you for taking one step closer to learning the right way. Lessons are insurmountable when it comes to learning. The fact that you're just not watching clips now says how much you really want this. And with that prowess, you're already on the right track to doing this thing the right way. And I hope you're down with it because it's how I got to this level. I wanted the material, I wanted the knowledge. So what I did is I watched the websites and the educators who were before me Whenever they provided content, I'd wait for it to go on sale and I'd jump on it. Whether it was my mitts or my body shields, whatever it was, like a jaguar in the bushes, I'd wait and I'd attack. And that was my system. And then I compiled all of the education that I needed. Hence is how I became one of the top educators in the world today. And with that, that's my advice to you. Because if you just use this free download, I'm pretty sure there's a sale going on. Take advantage of it. Sit down, study it. Do not take it lightly. Take it as serious as a heart attack. Take notes, rewatch, and in the gym, do the redundant skills training, drills, so that that puts it into your muscle memory. You have to be reprogrammed. I hope you take this knowledge and use it to your advantage because that's how I got here. That's all I got. Continued lessons, not tips. And I'll see you on the other side in the winner's circle. Click that link and get started with your learning. Let's go. Master box. Yes. And you will find that you're going to go a long way because of the pedigree and the lineage 